So my name is Andrea Birch. I am 55 years old. And in 2018, I was diagnosed with um, colon cancer. So being given that diagnosis, um, I always think on reflection that it's almost like you almost get like a post-traumatic stress effect because at that point that you're being told you've got cancer, you don't know what lies ahead. Then I met my um, nurse, my specialist nurse, Jane Winter, and then it becomes very real. And the times that she's been there for me as a complete lifeline, I, I almost feel emotional saying about it because she just, I just don't know what I would have done without her. Um, she never made me feel like I was being completely um, irrational. And sometimes I know that I was. She just used to put it all into perspective, whatever thoughts and feelings I had. But she'd also make sure I was checked out as well. So she'd organise further tests. I had a few hiccups along the road, along the way. Um, and she just made sure that I wasn't hanging around for the results longer than I had to because she knew that I would be in a bit of a state. And I remember saying to her on the phone, you're my everything, which I put the phone down and I thought, God, you know, she must think I'm absolutely bonkers because that is a little bit intense, but I just don't, didn't know how to describe what a lifeline she was. And I, I don't know, I keep, I always say to her, I don't know how to thank you enough. And I still don't. It just, whatever I say, just doesn't seem enough. So I know that cancer nurses, cancer nurse specialists are being um, acknowledged um, on a yearly basis. I, you know, from my point of view, they should be acknowledged in some way every single day. I just want to say to them all out there, you just do not realise how special you are and how important you are. Uh, I just really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the work that you, the, the really, really important work that you do. I don't think anybody it, it, often nurses like you are just doing what you do, you know, such specialist knowledge and doing what you do behind the scenes. But I don't think anybody truly realises what it's like to walk in your shoes and do what you do. And thank you from the bottom of my heart.